For the first time in about six years, DFW is gearing up for an annular solar eclipse. They tend to be life changing experiences for people. A lot of astronomers were first inspired by seeing a partial or a full eclipse. Perot Museum CEO Linda Silver says they'll be opening their doors at 830 Saturday morning with plenty to do as the sky takes a dark turn. We'll have all kinds of STEM activities, but we'll also have live music. We'll have food trucks that'll be out here on on our parking lot and then all kinds of activities inside the museum as well. An annular eclipse is when the moon passes between Earth and the sun and is at or near its farthest point from the Earth. DFW will witness about 80% coverage beginning around 1020 AM and then peaking just before noon. So how does all of that impact solar energy and the independent Texas power grid? Last week, ERCOT released this statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, which reads, ERCOT has planned for this forecasted reduced generation and expects grid conditions to be normal. I gotta wear but not just any shades. Regular sunglasses won't cut it when it comes to safely viewing the eclipse. To fully protect your eyes, you will need eclipse glasses or solar viewers, which are 100,000 times darker and held to an international safety standard. The Perot Museum will be handing the shades out for free as many prepare to watch the astronomical phenomenon. I think for millennia, people have been fascinated by them. Many, many years ago, we didn't understand why the sun was being blocked out. Now we have science. We understand more about it. In Dallas, I'm Stacia Wilson.